Greetings to everyone. Thank you for your audience. This is Jose Torres Villachica. I'm a physician in Virgen de la Concha Hospital, and I would like you to show our work about the use of 3D technology in the preoperative period for patients with, with bilateral inguinal hernias. It's a quanti quantitative classification proposal aimed to reach surgical approach. We uh, had the participation of other departments like the anesthesiology and radiology. And uh, going to, to the work, I would like to, to explain uh, how we did it and why we did it. We, uh, we have a, a current problem, which is uh, the wall pathology is one of the most prevalent uh, uh, illness in, the, in our patient. That's why we, uh, we wanted to, to develop uh, a classification that could uh, enhance our, uh, our results. We collect two patients, which are uh, one of 88 and the other of 67 years old, with bilateral hernias, inguinal hernias, without previous abdominal wall surgeries. And we took some measurements in, in both cases. Um, one of the patients, like it's uh, showing this picture, had the uh, loss of the main hernia, which uh, is the which is described as an hernia above 25% of index between the what is the the volume the totality of the hernias uh, divided in the volume of the of the abdominal cavity this is the scanner that we took before getting the the measurements in, with the 3D uh, application uh, we uh, establish uh, certain parameters to to be taken uh, in in this uh, in this work which is the number of organs that are involved in the hernia the number of recurrences the patient had the volume of uh, of the hernia and also the the volume uh, the ratio or, or index between the the hernia volume and the abdominal cavity volume. We uh, also developed a punctuation table, which is uh, divided in three grades. If the punctuation that the patient had summing all these parameters, we, uh, it's uh, from three to five, uh, the patient was cataloged by grade one. And the recommendation would be a simple anterior open technique. Interesting, could, uh, as an example, if it's a, a punctuation between or a score between six and nine, the grade is, is two. And in this case, we recommend a posterior open technique, not an open technique, which could be laparoscopic or an open like uh, Nihus. If the punctuation is above 10, the grade that we catalog this case would be three and a combined and complex technique would be required like the, the one that we use in the first case, which is the induced preoperative pneumoperitoneum. Uh, plus a laparoscopic abdominal approach and also a uh, botox uh, therapy so we we use this uh, this workstation based on the 3d slicer program uh, which uses the the tc scan slices to to reconstruct the the structures that we wanted to study like we see here, this is the case number two, the patient of 65 years old with loss of the main hernia. And we see here the hernia of the right side, the hernia of the left side, and the abdominal wall structures. We also see the bone 
here and uh, it and these are the volumes uh, uh, the parameters that this application uh, gave us we see here also another parameters that we could uh, could measure like the di diameters for example this is the case of of the patient number one patient and uh, this is uh, the data that we got with this uh, with this chart that we, with this uh, image that we showed the diameters the number of recurrences organs uh, in this case also we see the the data from patient number two and uh, with this we wanted to to get a more precise um, outcome a uh, more precise um, decision on what we are going to do with uh, the patients but not just um, having the decision the moment of the surgery way before it by by a proper classification and proper study by image of, of the patient before they they go to the OR room so uh, we are encouraging with this study to to all the physicians and also other other specialists in the in the field of of imaging to to improve these uh, these tools that we could have to to get better outcomes on on the treatment that we gave to our patients we believe these tools based on 3d reconstruction are a great help and uh, with these new classifications and therapeutic solutions are on our way to to come thank you very much for your time and for the acceptance of this